Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. For this project, you're going to need some small cans. Next, I've made some soapy water in the sink, and I've placed my can in the water. I'm going to get it good and clean because we want to make sure all of the food particles are removed and that it's nice and clean. I'm going to rinse it off. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. For this next step, I want to remove the label. And after you've had it in the water, it's pretty easy just to take it off. There's a lot of things you can make with these tuna cans. And you can find tutorials for a lot of other projects with cans and recycled items over on my blog as well. But I'm gonna try to clean up this the best I can. And um, if you want, you can use Goo Gone to get rid of this. But if you want something a little more natural, if you spread a little coconut oil on it, let it sit for about 15 minutes, this will scrub right off. So I brought my cans outside and set them up on a box. And you can do this right side or, ups or upside down. And next I'm gonna use some Rust-Oleum spray paint and you can use whatever color you choose. I'm actually having a hard time deciding if I wanna use white or copper for this project. If you have a thought, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear. So since the handles I'm using will be white, I'm gonna go with the Rust-Oleum white. This one has a paint and primer, which I think is kind of an important thing. And now all I do is go around and paint the can with the white spray paint short even strokes making sure I'm far enough away and then the other piece that's going to be important is letting it dry thoroughly before moving on. So I'm going to let this dry and see if it needs a second coat. Next I have a dollar store broom and I'm just going to go ahead and pull the broom off because all I'm going to need for this project is the handle. So I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do with these next. Next I'm going to take the broom handle and I'm going to stake it into the ground and you need to get it in pretty far so that it's nice and solid for what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna repeat this to a second one. And you gotta watch for that concrete if you have a concrete patio so you don't hammer, try to hammer it into the concrete. But again, working nice and solid for our next part. Now that the paint's dry, I'm gonna stick a large amount of hot glue to the bottom. Now you could use other things like silicone, or E6000 or something that's more permanent. It really depends upon what the environment is that you'll be building these. I'll go ahead and do that to the other one and then we'll talk about the next step. Next, we're gonna talk about what goes on top here. And I made a trip to the thrift store and found that these lanterns fit very nicely on top so I could use something like that. Um, a trip to the dollar store or recycling old things, a bud vase works really nicely on top. Some other choices are this candle holder that I had on hand, but I believe also came from the dollar store. Um, you could also put glasses, so you can pick them up at the dollar store or the thrift store, and I'll give you another example of a beautiful glass you could use. And you can place those inside like so. Creates a lovely, lovely look. And then one of my personal favorites is always recycled jars and mason jars which is what I'll be using for this project. Now, let me show you what I'm going to be putting inside of mine. So I've got my recycled jars or mason jars, but I love solar lights. Most people know that. And I found these fairy light solar lights that I'm gonna be placing inside. They remind me a lot of fireflies from where I grew up in Minnesota. And if you are interested in these, the link to these lights will be in the comments below. So I'm just gonna pop the fairy lights in and then I will screw the solar light top on top. And the great thing about this is it'll prevent water from leaking in and then they'll light up in the evenings. I also have my solar fountain running and it's a little rainy and overcast today, so it's not running, but you can find the tutorial for this over on my blog and my YouTube channel at Chas Crazy Creations as well. Now there's nothing more I love than family time and sitting outside in the summer. So I have placed these two lights on either side of our seating area. And I hope this inspires you to create some of this beautiful ambiance lighting for your home.
I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.